Hello everyone and welcome to Cricket World TV. Now we're looking back on the highlights of 2009. What a year in cricket. Tests, ODIs and 2020 cricket. Today it's turn of the 2020 cricket highlights, the batting and the bowling. John and Al joining us here again. Thanks for joining us chaps. Now it's been a busy, busy year. 2020 cricket has taken the world by storm. And what highlights we've had. Absolutely, two ICC World 2020 finals, Indian Premier League finals, lots of 2020 cricket being played. We're going to start off, Al has got his green Pakistan hat on today, so we've got to start with one man who really has come to the fore in 2020 cricket. No great surprise, Shahid Afridi, one of the biggest hitters of a cricket ball, very, very talented leg spin bowler, actually currently the Pakistan captain in 2020 cricket as well. Two performances from him with the bat, first of all, in the ICC World 2020 semi-final against South Africa at Trent Bridge. 51 in 34 balls to get them to the final. And in the final he delivered 54 not out in 40 balls against Sri Lanka, guiding Pakistan to that wonderful eight-wicket victory. Brilliant stuff from him, as you say, I think one of the players of the year. Al, there's obviously some uh, other performances that are of note. Absolutely. The one that um, comes to mind, or springs to mind, whatever you like to do it, because the ball just disappeared so far, was Chris Gale against Australia at the Oval. And you were there, Jim. I was, Alan, and I've never seen the ball go quite as far, quite as, as, as often. And of course, the fact that it's, it's, it's straight back over his head, on its way down to Kellington Tube Station, and I think there was a, a lot of open mouths, including the Australian captain himself, Ricky Ponting. It was just the power and the clean hitting, and it, it really did astonish everybody. And I've never seen it on a cricket field, but it, you saw Australia just sort of um, wilt. Go, <laughs> you know the spirit just went out of them as as the ball just sort of disappeared. They absolutely right, and and he was hitting it back over his head, but it, it wasn't just over the head that uh, that started in twenty twenty cricket this year. No, I mean Tiller Karani Dilshan, he sort of invented this new shot, with the Dil Scoop, as it's been called, where he sort of gets down and one to not to slow ball, it's a fast one. He says, "Well, I'll just whack that over the wicket." head, that'll be four. Thank you very much. Or six, possibly. Six, sometimes. possibly. Yeah, yeah. One performance from him in the semi-final against the West Indies. No, sorry, it was a group game against the West Indies. Ninety-six not out in fifty-seven balls. That really was a stunning effort. Very nearly the second twenty-twenty international set. Amazing, really. We've got so much twenty-twenty cricket, and there's still only been one international 2020 century it will be there will be a second a third a fourth fifth etc in time to come it just seems to be taking a long time to get there also talking about the oval can't uh, cannot talk about the england women of course they went on to win the title claire taylor in the semi-final against australia an unbeaten 76 not out excuse me in 53 balls with beth morgan providing support with 46 to get them into the final in the final claire taylor hitting the winning runs 39 not out in 30 balls after catherine brunt had taken three for six a extraordinary game of cricket and I think also that innings that you just mentioned there from Claire Tell in the semi-final was I mean to see the relief on their faces because it, it was a it was a tough ask and it she was, batted superbly well to get them to the final. Probably one of the best managed run chasers of the year. Okay Al any more that uh, David Warner. Like to mention? I've got, to, got to mention David Warner um, for Australia he scored uh, uh, 89 and, uh, at Melbourne one of, one of um, his first uh, international knocks and um, yeah, a, a great, great innings. Interesting character, isn't it? Because he's come to 2020 cricket, he's come into international cricket through 2020. I think I'm right in saying he's played international cricket before he's even played state cricket. Correct. Uh, but he's also shown what, what can be brought to the game. Fantastic power from the off, and let's see how he gets on. Now that people have seen what he can do a bit, I think he may... He may, uh, he may be found out. Well, he may mm -hmm. be found out, but also, uh, this is where it makes international cricket, is that players, once they get to a level, they'll then find if they can cut it or not. So. Uh, Good luck to him. One more performance. The whole Dutch team for their <laughs> shock win. Well, perhaps it wasn't a shock win over England, but they were just magnificent at Thor's. Four wickets they won the game by. Tom de Groot was outstanding. Ryan Tender shot. And then Turk Nannis, of course, who would later go on to play for Australia. But uh, they really sort of brightened up. The, 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 I thought they really did brighten up the tournament. Absolutely. Well, I, mean, I was there again for that game and I was sort of sheltering under the media <laughs> centre. I, 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 it was so packed, I couldn't even get in the media centre. But uh, yeah, Dirk Nannis, of course, a Middlesex player, and of course, a bit of a home ground for him. So I think uh, people might have had a, a few uh, a bit of a wages on, on the fact they might have turned England over. And great for the game of cricket, and great for 2020, and hopefully we'll see more performances like that in the forthcoming years. Now, of course, the Netherlands' next game was against Pakistan, where they were quite heavily beaten. As you said, Pakistan went on to win, and onto some bowling performances now. Shahid Afridi, got to mention him again, two for 16 in that semi-final against South Africa, taking the key wickets of Ava de Villiers and Herschel Gibbs, who really was outstanding they sort of say you, know, you can't cut shade for you. they tried to cut him paid the penalty and went out of the tournament Umar Gul though for me was probably the best 2020 bowler of the year 
uh, five for six against New Zealand in a match at the Oval that they won by 99. Oh, sorry, uh, New Zealand were bowled out for 99. You don't win many games of cricket if you're bowled out for 99. Not many. And uh, a little bit earlier in the year, he'd taken four for eight against Australia in Dubai. So really doing it against, against the best, doing my goal for me. Outstanding talent. Young talent now, John. Wayne Parnell. <laughs> yes. Um, magnificent. Uh, John, you, Jim, sorry, you caught up <laughs> with him uh, at, um, at Trent Bridge I did, practicing. And I did, yeah. really saw the pace that he was bowling in 2009 and uh, he hit the scene for South Africa and took four for 13 against the West Indies at the Oval. That was my highlight um, for, for bowling. Yeah, I think we'll be seeing more of him as he goes, uh, you know, having made his test debut in 2009 as well. He'll be uh, very much the four, probably in all forms of cricket, I suggest. Two more uh, match-turning bowling performances in the 2020 World Cup. Ajanta Mendes and Trent Johnson both took three wickets for Sri Lanka and Ireland respectively against uh, Australia and Bangladesh. <laughs> Just to check that one out for you. Uh, Mendes got rid of the Watson, Ponting and Hussey, so not bad scalps there. Well, brilliant stuff. And of course, all these bowlers, they need uh, fielders around to take some spectacular catches. And fielding, of course, has been so uh, has come to the fore in 2020 cricket. It's helped test matches, helped ODIs. And we wouldn't uh, be able to uh, finish without mentioning uh, one person's fielding that probably has uh, shocked the world, but uh, great to see. Angelo Matthews, brilliant innovation. We've, we've said a lot, haven't we, during our sort of radio TV pieces here at Cricket World, that Sri Lankans just love innovating, don't they? <laughs> Amazing, the ball was going out for six, he sort of caught it, he was going over the rope, but he sort of jumped in the air, threw it back into play, saved his team two or three runs. Outstanding piece of play. I'm not going to demonstrate it. Well, thank you for that, John. Not, <laughs> not much space, not much time, but uh, no, great to see. And I think also now not the only person to have done that. So there's a few people taking on, again, you know, th th this uh, new skill, if you like. So anyway, that's it now for 2020 Cricket. Our highlights saw great moments of 2009. We look forward to seeing you again here on Cricket World TV.